So today's topic, honestly, this is my favorite one all year is the prime day prep. I love talking about this, um, you know, cause every year I feel like we're able to use our knowledge from the previous year and the year before that. And obviously Amazon comes out with new information. It's just always really exciting time to talk about prime day. So, um, let's go ahead and jump in. So we're going to go through just prime day dates to know your promotional options on Amazon tactics, off Amazon tactics. And then we're also going to touch on PPC prime day as well. Um, for those of you guys that aren't um, having us manage your account. So for those of you guys that are having us manage your account, you really don't have to stress about the PPC slide, but I'm just going to cover it just for those of you guys that are managing your own. Um, so let's talk prime days um, to know. So right now, um, you are able to create prime exclusive discounts. So um, the prime exclusive discounts are going to be located underneath advertising. Um, that's where you're going to want to go for those specifically. So once you're under advertising, you'll see prime exclusive discounts. And from there, you'll be able to schedule them. Once you're in there, there's going to be a little button that basically says, is this a prime day deal? And you can go ahead and click that. Now coupons right now at this point, we don't have an announcement on how we can schedule these because generally Amazon will give us like certain dates to put in as filler dates. They have not done so yet. So we're kind of waiting on that right now, but for now you can schedule prime exclusive discounts and I would recommend doing that. So I'll cover that more in detail on our next slide, but that's kind of what we know right now. Now, um, by June um, 20th, all of your inventory must be inbound to the Amazon warehouses in order for it to be checked in on time for Prime Day specifically. Um, now, a lot of people ask me, you know, how much inventory should I send in? What are we looking at? General rule of thumb is we see that the two days of Prime Day, we usually see sales increase from 10 to sometimes 30%, just kind of depends on the, on the category and things like that. So it's definitely not a one size fits all option. What I would recommend is for those of you guys that have been um, live on Prime Days before, check out the previous years and see what did we increase to, what percentages did we hit, and from there, make your guesstimation on how much inventory you should send in. The general rule of thumb, like I said, we're looking at a 10 to 30% increase. It kind of just depends on the category and general things like that. Now, in terms of when Prime Day will be, as of this recording, end of May, on May 30th, we do not have a date. So looking at my calendar right now, our current guess is a guess, 100% a guess, we do not know. Um, we are assuming it is July 16th um, and 17th, just because historically it falls on a Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, we are seeing that right now in the back end of Amazon, you are able to schedule regular uh, lightning deals all the way up until the 14th of July. So generally, that means that Prime Day will not fall during that time if they're letting you schedule a regular um, lightning deal or things like that. So our guess is the 16th and 17th, but who the heck knows? Maybe we have a new guest next week. But as of today, that's our current guesstimation. Um, and we shall see what happens. So that's what we know now. Um, for those of you guys that maybe it's your first Prime Day, generally speaking, Amazon does not announce the day of Prime Day until about two to three weeks prior to the event. So that's just something um, to keep in mind. So looking at the Prime Day promotions, like I said, Prime Exclusive Discount is definitely what we would recommend booking for your promotion for Prime Day. This is just statistically the promotion that has done the best in our opinion. It converts the best. And really the main reason why is there's going to be a little blue box that says prime day deal. It looks very official, looks very exclusive. So we highly recommend doing that. Now, Amazon's requirements for prime exclusive discounts is it must be 20% off is the minimum that you must give. Now, that being said, if you have run any type of discount in the last 60 to 90 days, Amazon may require you to go higher around 21, 22% off. 
They're basically requiring this because you gave a discount in the last 90 days. And they're saying that we need to give our customers the best price in the last 90 days. So it is definitely a lot more strict this year. So what I would say is when you submit your prime exclusive discounts, please do not just submit them and forget them. Go back and make sure that they were approved. One thing I will say is this year, Amazon is doing a better job of being more straightforward on what price they need to give. So um, basically, if your prime day deal is a prime exclusive discount deal is not fitting in their parameters, you are able to go in there and change it to the price that they are requesting. They're not making you play the guessing game. They're going to be pretty straightforward with it. Okay. So that's what we would recommend. Prime exclusive discount. I think schedule that in the next few weeks, if it were me. Um, technically speaking, you can schedule these all the way up until the week of Prime Day. I just think don't do that. You just never know with Amazon. They can always, you know, stop operations. They can always, not operations, but they can always, you know, stop submissions and things like that. It's really just not worth risking not having a Prime Day Prime Exclusive discount. So that's what I would recommend. Now, the next thing is coupon clipping. So once Amazon announces Prime Day dates, you can get these scheduled out and you would just submit it for um, the regular dates that they are giving. So again, if they say, hey, it's going to be the 16th and 17th, you would just put July 16th and 17th. Now, in terms of the discounted amount, you should be able to submit whatever discount amount you want as long as it fits in the coupon clipping parameters. My recommendation, if it's within your margins, at least match that 20% off on any type of discount. And the only reason I say that is because that's what everyone's going to be doing. So uh, this is that one time that, you know, if everybody's doing it, you know, doesn't mean you have to do it. It kind of does. So um, I was more alluding to like when our parents would say, if your friends jumped off the bridge with you, that's what I was alluding to. But anyway, not the point. Um, Okay, promotional codes. So you can do promotional codes as well. You'll have to wait till Prime Day is announced uh, to get these dates submitted, but that's totally fine. You should be able to submit these on your own as normal. Um, now there are a few different options. So there is tiered promos, which would be something like buy two, get 10%, buy three, get 15, so on and so forth, whatever fits in your margins, okay? So that is an option. You could even do a tiered promo while also doing like a prime assistive discount or a coupon clipping to try to influence your average order value to increase. Keep in mind, if you do any either of these promo codes, they will combine with either of these two. So you can definitely do these, but just know that they can combine them. So if, again, if you did a tiered promo, they would get 20% off that single unit and then off that tiered as well. Okay. So that's what you want to keep in mind. So a tiered promo, honestly, I'm seeing these do really, really well. We have a lot of brands that are using these currently. And I mean, I think they are awesome. I think they work really, really well, especially if you have products that go well together. These are really, really great. So tiered promos are awesome. Really great addition to your Prime Day discounts. And then additionally, if you're in a situation where um, I know Prime Assistive Discounts and Coupon Clippings, they have requirements on um, not your ranking, your reviews. So if you're in a situation where you don't have reviews or your review, uh, your star rating is too low, a promotion is something you should be able to set up. So if that is what you need to do, I think that's worth doing. Again, I would do 20% off. And then um, you can have it set up so that it shows on the detail page and you can do a group code that you will be able to submit on the actual page will be on your listing. So that's that. And then the last one is brand tailored promo codes. So this could be an additional deal that you put on top of a prime exclusive discount. These are brand new promotional types that essentially are um, a way to boost your PEDs, privacy discounts, or coupon clippings. Uh, the difference between a brand tailored promo code versus a regular promo code is a brand tailored promo code is only being shown to a specific audience. 
So if you guys go right now to advertising and click on brand tailored promo codes, you will be able to see the different audiences that you are eligible for. And those range from abandoned cart shoppers, those range from potential new customers, different things like that. And it's based off of people that have viewed or purchased your product um, in the past. So those are the promo options that we are looking at for this year. Um, next, I definitely want to talk through on Amazon tactics. So the first one is creator connection. So this is not something that everyone is going to be eligible for. You do have to apply to uh, be accepted into this program. But essentially how this program works is it allows you to find and work with Amazon affiliate influencers. It's a really great way to showcase your brand and products and audiences to find potential new customers on Prime Day. Um, so basically what you're able to do is you create um, your own little job posting where you say, hey, if you want to work with us, um, you know, here is our products and we will offer a certain commission for any sales that you bring in. So what those influencers will do is they will post on their platforms, like an Instagram, TikTok, whatever their, their thing is. And then um, for every sale that they drive, you pay a certain commission off of what they, um, what they sell. Now, commissions really do range. It depends on your margins and what works for you. Obviously, the sweeter you can make the deal, the better. My minimum, I would say, is do a 10% commission, but I have brands doing up to 20 to 30%. So what I've seen is the higher the commission, the stronger um, type of influencers you get. So that's kind of that. Now, Amazon Post, this is something that everyone should be eligible for as long as you are brand registered. Amazon Posts are going to be located in your campaigns section within Seller Central. And this is Amazon's own little social media. OK, so this is where you can post uh, different videos and images and things like that, um, that type of thing. So um, with these posts specifically, you're looking for lifestyle images because infographics, unfortunately, generally do not get approved. So that's something to keep in mind. You are able to schedule these far in advance, very similar to Instagram, and you just have an image with a caption. Now, how these are going to help you on Prime Day is basically it gives you free visibility on similar uh, product pages. OK, so that's why we're pushing it. That's why um, we want to be using it. OK, so that's Amazon posts. You also have shoppable videos and Amazon Live. This is where you can work with current influencers that you've built a relationship with them and ask them if they would create a shoppable video or an Amazon Live. Um, so you can see right here, this is what the images are not images. I'm sorry. The videos look like on the actual listing. So these listing or these videos would show up on your listing and these people would get commission, but this would come from Amazon, not from you guys. You guys are not going to be pay paying commission on it. Um, so the idea is if you could convince one of your influencers to post about this, um, Amazon basically has their Amazon live section. If you guys have never checked that out, I highly recommend you do where basically people talk about products. And then if someone purchases from their store, they get commission from it. So it's really just another way to push influencers to post about your product and to drive sales. So if you are in discussions with influencers or if you've worked with them in the past or whatever the case may be, you can always ask them, hey, would you ever you know, consider doing an Amazon Live for me or posting a shoppable video? That type of thing. So um, yeah, so that's kind of what we're looking at in terms of that as an on Amazon tactic. Now off Amazon tactics. So you can always put together a social media post and just post organically, not paid. Um, I highly recommend doing this. Um, you know, when it comes to prime, you know, a lot of people always kind of wonder, well, you know, do I really have to post and things like that? The reality of the situation is, is your competitors are definitely posting. So it's really just all about competing on those two days specifically. So creating something similar to this, uh, where you kind of have the big Prime Day logo and then your product surrounding it, that's what I'm envisioning for you guys. So that would be a really great opportunity. You can always put also the discount that you guys are going to be offering. You can put the dates of the actual Prime Day. That would be a really great fit for a social media post. Now email or texting outreach. So this just depends on what your specific assets are. If you guys have an email list, a texting list, whatever, 
Um, Prime Day is obviously really competitive. So reaching out to your email list to tell them that you are going to have a Prime Day deal would be really, really helpful. Keeping in mind that you do want to uh, make sure you plug in your Amazon attribution links. So that way you're able to track it um, is the idea. Okay. So that is email and texting outreach. You also have influencer outreach as well. Kind of similar to what we discussed on the previous slide. Instead of them posting on Amazon, you can also just have them post on their own networks, whether that's again, Instagram, TikTok, whatever they're comfortable with trying to get them to post if they are not an Amazon. So if they are an Amazon affiliate, they would have their own link to use where they can get commission from Amazon. If they are not an Amazon affiliate, they're not a part of the program. You guys can also do an Amazon attribution link with them and set up some type of deal with them, whether that's like, Hey, if you drive this many sales, I'll pay you X um, or whatever. Everyone's got a different relationship with their influencers. It, a lot of them will do just a flat fee of, you know, an, a certain amount of money. So whatever you have worked out with that influencer in the past, I think is a really great option and, and something to consider. Now, additionally, external advertising is also great, whether through Meta or Google ads paired with an Amazon attribution link. Those are great for Prime Day to try to gain additional um, exposure on the big shopping day. So I highly, highly recommend doing that if that's something that is in your wheelhouse and you're capable of doing. Now, lastly, I have seen that mailers are pretty successful in terms of sending out a physical mailer to try to increase exposure. Obviously with Prime Day, it's a little bit more complicated because we won't know until about two to three weeks out when Prime Day will actually be. So if it's a situation where you can't churn this out fast enough, it's okay. But it is something that I have seen people do in the past that's pretty successful. Again, pairing that with some type of Amazon attribution link, you could do a QR code where the QR code is the Amazon attribution link. So that way you can track the success of the actual mailer. Okay. So moving away from that, we also have our Prime Day PPC strategy. Again, I know some of you on this call are working with our PPC team. So this doesn't necessarily apply to you guys. But for those of you guys that we are not managing your PPC ads, I do want you to keep a few things in mind. So um, it is really important to just start prepping for Prime Day with PPC. Um, it takes a lot of time to get things in order. So even though it looks like we're roughly a month and a half out, it's still worth considering and making sure all of your ducks are in a row. So we definitely recommend expanding targeting to build exposure. Additional keywords are a great example. Competitors and category targeting targeting can help build your audience leading up to Prime Day. Diversifying your campaigns is also something we recommend. So your best performing targets for sponsored products, sponsored brand, video ads, sponsored display, just to try to increase your visibility. Uh, you definitely want to increase your best performing target bids. Um, obviously competition, it increases quite a bit leading up to prime day. So you generally do start to see an increase in your bids, um, as you lead up to the big shopping day. So you do want to optimize your ads as always guys. I mean, this is, you know, something you guys, everyone should be doing, but, um, with that, you want to adjust your bids, your placement bids, ad variations, just to maximize on prime day. Um, and then plaid plan ad adjustments based on prime day deals and promotions. So start pointing more traffic to prime day deal products. So if you guys are in a situation where only a few of your products are going to have a prime day deal, those products should be getting more exposure on prime day, not all of them. So you want to make sure that you are adjusting your budgets um, to kind of fit that narrative. Okay. Um, you do want to increase your campaign budgets to ensure our best performing campaigns and brand defense last throughout prime day. So when it comes to Prime Day, you do not want to be in a situation where your ads have stopped spending midday. That is a missed opportunity. You want to make sure you are doing checks throughout the day to make sure you are staying in budget and you are driving sales the entire day, not just a portion of it. Um, again, increasing PPC and DSP bids on the actual days of Prime Day as auction competition increases on the specific Prime Day days. Full funnel approach to maximize exposure. We will implement medium risk and upper funnel targets for products you are running promotions on just to increase the urgency from Prime Day and conversion rates are obviously higher on these days as well. 
Um, now, one thing that I will say with DSP, for those of you guys that work with us and you do have DSP running, um, DSP for an influx of shopping activity on Prime Day, we will see larger retargeting audiences, usually the following 30 days after Prime Day, and we're able to scale bids there. So DSP is definitely still very relevant on Prime Day, but we can do a lot with it post Prime Day. So that's what we're envisioning for Prime Day. Um, obviously, we covered a lot there, but I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording and then... Uh,